Okay, second time's the charm. Um, okay, so I'm here again with another um, character uh, update slash reference video. Um, I'm hoping this one goes a little bit smoother than the last one because the first one. Okay, I'm doing it again. I keep like clenching my chest and then I talk really fast because I'm not letting myself breathe. So okay, uh, here's one for caster. Um, we're gonna be a lot more casual with this one. We're gonna really take our time with this one because uh, I got into like, you're giving a speech mode. And so I talked way too fast. Okay. So this is Caster Ryson. He's in Need Arena. He has Hustle and he's 16. Right? Okay. Uh, he is hasty and proud of his power. His move set is Poison Jab, Sucker Punch, Double Kick, and Horn Attack, and he attends Rako House. Uh, his roommate is Potato. I should probably note that somewhere on who, who their roommate is. Yes, that's a good idea. Uh, he's 5'7", uh, his date of birth is March 22nd, and he's uh, Blood Type O. Ooh, I should make a video uh, showing off those resources that I have for picking up blood types and stuff. Not sure if you have access to those kinds of things, but I made a really helpful chart for it. Uh, anyway, uh, his classes are uh, Shop, Environment, History, Math, Language Arts, uh, FCS, Battling, and Gym. Uh, you know him. He's really moody. <laughs> Very angry. Uh, he lives on Route 4 in Kanto. Uh, he tries to put on his best behavior for Kelly, you know. Uh, he's headstrong, stubborn, just like his daddy. Uh, despite the fact that he's a jerk, uh, he can be nice, you know, if pushed. Uh, he's the son of the neat duo, uh, Oleander and Niriam Ryson. He's the childhood bully and neighbor of Amanita, who attends Booster. Uh, he he's a little subconscious of his ears. He'll grow into them. Um, really quick before I move on to his parents, I want to talk about his relationship with uh, Amanita. Now, uh, they met in like pre-K. And in pre-K, he was like best friends with her. Like they did everything together, you know like four-year-olds I guess um and uh they were friends until second grade and in second grade Amanita started being like I guess more than usual like withdrawn and distant and quiet and people started to think that that was weird I guess because you're in second grade and then you start bullying people right so uh Casper was being picked on for hanging around with her and so he kind of turned on her because he's a he's an asshole and uh, he started bullying her and again their neighbors uh Nerium and I mean I mean his mom are like best friends <laughs> so you know Castor would have this really weird arm's length relationship with her but like would sometimes slip into like still treating her like a friend you know like you know like you do um so that's kind of their history uh, he has taken to calling her Alienita because, uh, there was a rumor floating around that she was acting so withdrawn because she was abducted by aliens. Uh, when Kevin gets around to talking about his, talking about Amanita in her video, he'll probably mention that a little bit more in depth, but yeah, uh, Alienita, <laughs> it's a thing, <laughs> it's funny. Um, so, yeah, that's, that's more or less the thing with, uh, Caster at the moment. And then, obviously, he's, he's got a thing for Kelly. Don't tell anybody. Okay, so here's, uh, his parents, uh, Oleander, uh, o Oleander Ryson and Nerium Ryson. Oleander is 41, he's a Needle King, he's animate and proud of his power. He's headstrong and stubborn, he can be a huge jerk, and it's really tough to get into him at his faults and wrongdoing, and then just wrongs, not wrongdoings, but wrongs. That being said, um, you know, if you can get him to admit that he was wrong at one point, then, like, he'll just, like, he'll be cool with you, you know, he, um, he, when he learns better, he, he shows his more loyal side, he's, uh, very kind-hearted, very deep down, um, but yeah, he's very loyal, you know, when the ships are down, um, he, he has a habit of being very stern and almost harsh with Castor, but that's because he wants him to grow up to be a better man than he was for, you know, the majority of his life. But, you know, they, they butt heads a lot. Um, he met uh, Nerium when they were 14 in the Kanto Singles Division Minor Leagues. Um, and obviously, you know, he used to beef with Hunter and, and all of that madness there. Um, as for Nerium, uh, she's 40 and she's a Nido queen and she's bashful and thoroughly cunning. 
Uh, she's soft spoken and she's severely shy. She's got a very bad stutter. Um, but she's not a total pushover. She's exceptionally strong willed and very determined. She's also really clever. Um, she's basically like mom mode 24 7 um she is like the kind of mom that like packs sandwiches for people and like, like all the kids and like she does chaperoning for school trips and shit like she's that kind of mom like she's like there um she always likes to give help to people even if people don't really deserve it you know she's that kind of person um that being said despite her meekness she will kick your ass don't forget um she grew up with three older brothers, so that's kind of where she gets her, like, her, her cleverness from, was that if she couldn't match them through pure strength, she would get them with their wits. So that's kind of, kind of her thing. She's really, really intelligent. Um, the thing cut it off, that's not great, but she knows sign language. Yeah, funny that. That's a thing that, that's a thing she knows how to do. She, she, she knows sign language. So that's cool. Um, yeah. Yeah, I think the video went a hell of a lot better. It was really short. Wow. Oh, God. I hope I didn't talk fast again. Hmm. Um, yeah, the big thing I wanted to talk about with Castor was his sister, Amanita. And I guess you'll hear more about it from Amanita's perspective when uh, Kevin talks about her. But yeah. Yeah, I think, I think this is a lot more casual, this one. I feel like I can breathe, so I, I think that's that's a good sign. Yeah, I think it's just I don't have much to say about Castor because with Kelly I had to kind of talk about her thing, mostly Laurel's thing with Alicia's parents and that was stuff you've never heard before, so that's why I really had to go into detail here, but most of the stuff you already know. Um, yeah, yeah, I think I did really well. Okay, don't mean to keep patting myself on the back, but okay, we're done. Thank you for watching. <laughs>